We've got Alex versus Matt. Alex is 1-0 and Matt is 2-1. Uh, I watched Alex rip up Dan with shifting Ceteratops Cetera, uh, or whatever. Yep. Uh, he could not deal with uh, that pro blue power uh, with his shenanigans. And then uh, Matt lost to Adam, uh, his artifacty and combos. So, yep. uh, yeah, they're... They are good to go out there. Um, and we're good to go in here. Right, Mark, you want to tell them they're good to go? I don't know. So while they're looking there, uh, real quick, Dex fix. Dex fix. Yep. There we go. All right. So we have. This is Alex's list. It Alex's looks kind list, of... right? Pretty much as we it predicted. Looks... We got the wheel on the board, the ceratops, the tsunami on the board, the dominant, the oof, the vines, the chandra on the board. He picked the chandra too early to be in the board, but you know it, it makes sense. He didn't know what he was getting. It's a strong card. Yep. Uh, this looks looks really strong. The only thing I want to point out uh, is people are looking at this list. There are two sorceries. Uh, the one that we can read is Green Sun Zenith, the Mystical Archives version natural order. of Natural Order, is what right. we see here. Yep. And then we've got the. Reanimate slash so he just went full on. It's reanimator slash uh, Thoracle, and so he can get a little bit of both. Yep. And that is where we are at. So let's bounce back to um, gameplay. And all right, so we've got City of Brass on one side, and this looks like a uh, Outland Liberator. So he main decked the Liberator. He had a Utopia Sprawl turn one by yes. the looks of it. And then we've got an Ignoble. So nice nice mana here. He's going to be looking at possibly five mana next turn. Yep. For sure four. That is what I'm seeing. We can run at five mana. We if don't have has, a whole lot to do. If he has a land, five mana. Otherwise, yeah. Four. Well, when we're considering, like, Matt doesn't have the, uh, the option of looking at this list mid-play. So at five mana, there's actually not a lot that we're doing. We're right. we would be double spelling a one and a four or a two and a three. Right, four is where where he's at. Right, exactly. We it's have like, a lot of powerful fours though. He pitches land something. I don't know what the other was, but uh, and he's just gonna. He says time walks the worst card in his deck right now. Uh, he says uh, it's basically just being an explorer in this deck, but some but in this deck an explorer feels but pretty good. The majority of people out there heading into Eternal Weekend North America are wondering why Blue Explorer costs so much. So <laughs> we're not here to answer any questions, but we're here to. All right, so we're gonna frantic search. Feel the same. All right, we're spinning our wheels. We are just journeying I mean, through our deck looking for something. He's the got the mana, the right? I mean, he's got the mana that he can just win, right? Like if he's got he, it in hand. There's a land. Maybe two. All right, and tomb reanimate. Yeah. So here we're going to see an Atraxa to draw a lot of cards. All right, so let's take a look. Atraxa or Gristlebrand. We go for Atraxa because yeah. we know our opponent in game one cannot just kill this. So one of the best parts about Atraxa is that it's blue. So it pitches to force. Yeah. Uh. Fantastic. ETB, amazing. The worst part about Atrox is that it's blue. That <laughs> makes it susceptible to Reb and Pyroblast. But neither of those are in this match because Kevin nope. ho hogged both of them. So Exactly. So if you're Matt, you can feel very comfortable about casting this Atroxa. And... All right. So... I think we just snap off the... All right, we just snap off the win there. Um, what did he? What did he have on? So there was a duress in there and animate. So we just snap those two off. I don't think there's a better sorcery um, you can take in that spot because you also had dark ritual. So right. you could dark rit the duress, make sure there's nothing else to muck up your combat over the next couple. I, did he have the two? I did. Did he have thassos in the two? I didn't see that. No, I, I didn't see that. There's a little too much glare for me to figure that one out. But I guess Alex just decided he can't beat an atrox at that point. So exactly. Uh, so I think. Sideboarding is pretty straightforward for Alex. Yeah. There is a. Uh, All right. The, so. Oh, was the endurance in the main? I thought he had. I thought Alex had endurance. Maybe it's he not does. as cut and dry as I thought. Uh, it's it's in the main. Okay. Um, sideboard is actually not very. He doesn't. There's not a lot here. I mean, so the Scoos and the Angel's Grace. Um, 
the because of the force, the, maybe the veil. Uh, but you know, I don't know. For the how grief much. as well. I would yeah. bring in the grief because, uh, sorry, the veil because at worst you can cycle it. Right. To try and find your endurance, so I bring in the veil. I would bring in the scoos, like you said. Yeah, and I bring um, in the angel's grace, you know, because that's going to stop one of the combos at least. Yep, I think yeah, I think that's fine. I think those are the three cards we're looking at, and there are a fair number of cards we can cut in yeah. that instance. Yeah, I, mean, I think M M Miglos can go here. You know, just any number of your creatures, right? Can just or or a, a planeswalker like Comet, which right. could just roll bad. I would just cut that card out because it's variable, and you don't want that in this matchup. You want to be Fury. Actually, seems pretty bad on average in this matchup. Yeah, stuff like that. I think that's pretty cut and dry. And then if we are Hydroblast. Kevin... Oh, he bre boarded the Breach. I guess because he went with the reanimator package, he just decided not to go in on the Breach combo. All right. Or maybe he just didn't feel confident in the Breach combo, but I think I would bring he in lost the LED. He lost the LED as well, so. Oh, uh, okay. I think I'd bring in the Breach, and if I'm looking at sideboards, I don't know if I'm concerned about the I Hydroblast. I don't think I'd bring in anything else. I'm not worried. I bring in the uh, Blast. I bring in the Blast. What are you gonna blast that matters? I mean, Skin Boo. I mean, especially if he gets a quick start, right? Like a turn one, turn two, Minsk and Boo. Um, okay, you can do that. Um, yeah, because coll co collective brutality doesn't get that. Right. I mean, look, you could bring in Dreadfug, and it does the same thing as blast, right? Yeah, possible. I think we're bringing in like three or four <laughs> cards, and it really comes down to what you what you feel the context of this matchup is going to be yeah so they're still boarding here it looks like looks like we're seeing three and three out for alex So getting our shuffle on. Let's see, I did, I watched Alex take down um, Dan in pretty swift fashion. Yeah. Um, you know, the Dan probably made a little bit of a play mistake, but there was a, a good strip mine and a, uh, the yep. shifting ceratops and all that good stuff. I think if we're Dan, we have to mulligan pretty aggressively here as well. We need endurance or we need strip mine. Yeah, for Alex, like there's, you know, he can definitely take. Yeah, this sorry, match, sorry, for right? Alex. Yeah. He can definitely take this match. It's just uh, he was on the he was on the draw there. That doesn't help, and uh, you know, obviously the quick, you know, uh, it's really hard to beat that quick um, Atraxa. Yep, the quick reanimate. And I think he had mold as well, as I recall. Right. Uh, I mean, okay. This time, Matt, well, Matt, this time Matt's mulling, So that's all you can hope for. If you're if you're Alex, that your your hand can compete with the main plan, and that uh, may your hands struggle. May your Matt hands be here. subpar. <laughs> yeah. May your hands be good, but not that good. I mean, reanimation reanimator is still effectively a three card combo. Yeah. You no, need, for sure. You need the the creature. You need the reanimation spell, and you need the method to put the creature in the graveyard. So if you are slow any of those you have a chance if you're alex and that's all you're hoping for is that Matt, matt's hand is good and only has two thirds or maybe one third of the options right all right so we have Put the mask putting on back the bottom. the mask yeah put the mask which on means the we probably don't have a creature we want to reanimate nice. i think i did see a thoracle in matt's hand though maybe we put the thoracle back no he put the unmask back Okay. Once upon a time. It's going to hit endurance. Oh, wow. That's, that's a, hit. a solid hit. So you're either really happy as Matt because you know what you're playing around now or really sad because you were going to play. Your plan was to play into it effectively. Right. And just shotgun. You have it or don't. Careful study. Turn one hex triggers. Turn one hex trigger can be hard to beat, but if anybody can beat it, it's gonna be Matt, right? Like it's oh, for be... sure. 
all the text that add, that gets added to Hex Drinker over time as you level it level it up is not going to matter against but, the deck. Yeah, that there, can, there is a Thoracle in his hand. You were right. Yeah. The it's not going to matter much against the deck that can win on the spot. So. I wonder if we swapped out the Gristlebrand for Underworld Breach side of things with Thoracle. Mm, I don't know. That'd be interesting. Alice can pressure our life total so we can't just pay to draw twice and win right. that way with Thoracle. Pay, pay to draw twice and get a uh, Minskin Boo launching something in your head doesn't seem, you know. Exactly. I mean, we might not even just have 14 life to play with by the time we're ready to do it either. All right, so we pitch an Animate Dead and a Tainted Pact. Yep. So for Alex, that tells us that Matt is... Uh, confident in the fact that he that they do not need yeah, don't, the don't. additional spells. They have what they need. Yeah, that's scary, actually. Like, if you're sitting there, you're Alex, like, and they pitch packed and tainted and, and animate dead. You're like, oh, yep. that's, you know. Uh, but, oh, he does not have a second land. Oh, no land. Back. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. In Constructed, you generally want to play fewer lands because you have all these dark rituals. To play off of, you have four Lotus nice. Petals. We got a 4-4 four, four swinging in now. Five counters on it? Is that? Yeah, he leveled, he, he leveled up two last time, and then three I, I just time. don't know the levels on it. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, it, it, eight. It, it, eight is the next level. It's the 6-6. Six, six. So he's just coming in for four again. He's not... Nope. We're just going to... Oh! Oh, because it's not going to go... Like, yeah, I don't know why he did it that way, but... Only okay, I was right. It's only as a sorcery, so yeah, but it's still maybe it's there great. was talk about entering combat and then yeah, maybe yeah, maybe just decided to roll down. Whatever. Yeah, there's the land. If he draws strip mine here, that would be so brutal, but that's not a strip mine, that's a crater hoof. Nope. All right, so this is a six six coming in. Yep, with endurance in hand, so we are very yeah. and no black mana on math side, so we not are yet, very no. much constrained. We have a Tarn, but n and yeah, Underground Sea, so we could fetch Black, go to yeah. two. It's a Tarn and a Hydro Blast. Yep. Alex has no red, so they're not... So he went to three, if this fetch to go to three. There's no Lightning Bolt in the list, right? He's got Endurance and Endurance Mana up. Yep. I think that's all we're worried about now is Endurance, if we are met on our turn. We have to effectively get it. Well, but this is where Endurance can beat uh, Thoracle. Yes, because by you, shuffling the library, or sorry, right, shuffling the right, graveyard back in. Right. Or so, no, sorry, it doesn't shuffle. It puts it on the bat on the bottom. Right, right. But it can put it on the bottom. But endurance can't beat Flash Thoracle. Right. Right. I mean, it's obviously it's not the it's not the best answer, but it is an answer. Correct. So, like, I think this is what you, this is basically what you were talking about at the end, and you're just kind of picking on Matt, where like you have um, some clear options if you pick up Show and Tell or Flash. Right. So into the Royals being pitched. This is a frantic. Looks like he put into the Royal in the pile. Now he's considering into the Royal and Hydro Blast. Yep. Now he's going to untap some lands. Search resolves. Playing tight. He's got a Tainted Indulgence in hand. That's an instance. He's got a Dark Writ. Got a Duress. Dark Rit. We know there's endurance, so how do we get around that? Well, it depends on what he's trying to do here. I mean, ooh, what is that? Tainted indulgence. Oh, that's really interesting art for that card. Yeah. So let me. Oh, because it's the mystical archives. No, I think it's just. I don't think there's mystical archives. It's just. I'm pretty sure. That's regular. Okay. Draw two cards and discard a card unless there are five or more man of value cards in your graveyard. And there are, so... Okay, so we're leaving two black floating after this. Yeah. It's because there's Animate Dead, Hydro Blast. Uh, is there five or more different five or more man of value cards? So you have Dark Red at one, we have Animate at two. A card. So there's, yeah, there's a total. There's a total of five or more. Okay. Okay. It's like Dark Raid, Anime Dead, uh, Frantic Surge. There's definitely. Yeah, 
But I still pitched one, so uh, maybe there wasn't. Yeah, I thought we only got to like three. Duress you? Is this the just let's see what you sideboarded in? Maybe. And scoop? Because we have a black floating right now. That's all that's left. Yeah. We have a Lotus pedal. pedal. We have a Thoracle. Thor he, he, so we have he, a black floating. But it can't block. So is he going to with the black? No, nope, he's just straight. So we let the Scry resolve. Yeah. Well, because, I mean, he can't block with the Thoracle. It doesn't save his life. It's got protection from no. everything. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he just played it out. Make you know? him, yep, make him do it. Make him do it. I don't think we need a sideboard for anything. Based nah. on play draw, I think we're just pretty pretty much good to go. Yeah. Should be all right there. I was like, you know, Hexer does his thing, definitely would have matched. He could have lost, but, you know, being slow, just a little bit slower on lands is going to... Yep, man, hitting that Endurance so you had to go twice makes it extremely difficult. Yeah, for sure. Because you have to go through the entire process twice. Endurance puts everything on the bottom. So you got to put a second creature there. Oh, okay. Endurance is a random order. So you get to shuffle your graveyard, and then you put it on the bottom. Yeah. Yep. You just don't shuffle your graveyard into your library. No, that, it's just to the bottom. That is a problem. Right. But yeah, so you, it doesn't matter, though, because you got the trigger, and you're going to... Even if you get four cards in the graveyard, you know, like, okay, mm -hmm. unless I... Unless my... unless my Most of the time, in Thoracal, your uh, devotion is not higher than two, you know? Yeah. All right, so we've got a Lotus Petal over there. So that's probably a keep from that, just... Yeah, I think I saw the pathway. Nope, and he, nope not nope. enough. Evidently, look at a lot of I saw a lot of lands. So yes, I saw a I saw, on a lot of lands. Yep, I saw the, the pathway and the sea. Yeah. On Alex's side, I think I see a mountain, and that's about it. They they play back a little too far. Yeah. But evidently, it was too many lands, not enough action. Oh, I get that. Which is, uh, it, it, you know, that that's a, that's a hard run in VRD, right? You're just like... Yes. That's the fail rate of the deck in, in Constructed as well. Yeah, I saw, I see a Renin 6, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a Renin 6 up top. I see at least a forest. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, good utility cards in Alex's hand. I'm just not sure if yeah, what an, we're looking at for sideboard prowess here. I see an Animate Dead, three lands, something blue. Oh, something if we have an Animate Dead and three lands, then like we're, we've solved almost the entirety of the equation. Yeah, I can't tell what that one is between. That might be a land in between the animate dead and the land. I can't tell, but it looks like the two, first two cards are land. The first two are lands for sure. I can't tell um, what the third card is. Yeah. Um, we got some delighted halfling. He's happy to be here. Oh, they're just happy to be at the party. This is gonna be that kind of party. I'm gonna stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. In the mashed potatoes. Oh god. Spell Pierce. I think that's a dread fugue in there. I think he might go at his hand here. Nope. Okay. I'll pass it off. What kind of three drop action we got? We got this big burlaz, Merlaz. Oh, this thing that like can pump. It comes in with oil counters. It can pump yeah. itself. Miglos. It can get. ETBs with five oil counters on it, and then you can remove an oil counter to pump it. Right. You can pump it, or you can uh, give it menace and vigilance. Or, yep. you can or destroy, destroy target artifact. Or Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. Because brain... you can destroy animate dead. Yeah, no, that's true. That's nice here. Mm-hmm. So that solves one avenue of reanimation. One avenue that Matt can win. Right. Yeah, he has, yeah, he has the reanimate still, but like... The animate dead part is like less useful. Yes. He still gets the cards. I mean, you're still getting a lot of cards, and that's obviously... With yep. a Thoracle combo, that's... Oh, we're pitching something for the grief. Yep. One of the handful of black spells. Yeah. 
looks like an older print. I can't tell what it is exactly, but. Ah, there's the endurance. Yeah. And he says, I want that gone. <laughs> if I had to pick any one card from among these, it's going to be the card that ends my combo. Right. The card that stops both things I'm trying to do decently well. Mm-hmm. Alex is playing, playing, playing uh, gentle person magic, says, I will keep my hand revealed. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yabamaya. Not a lot. Of, I mean, Red and Six is going to start pinging. You know, that's fine. It's nothing to write home to mom about. But uh, nope, I guess we... I think we were just banking on that uh, that endurance to kind of hold down the fort. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean I, you had to keep that hand. It had you yeah. know, some early, early aggression and... Uh, he can, I think you play the Ren and Six here over saving up mana to cycle Jetmere's Garden, though I could see holding up mana to cycle Jetmere's Garden, but... You, you're not going to lose Nope, if, he's going to take the initiative. That's even smarter. So that's, that is perfectly fine, because Matt cannot win with an animate dead at instant speed unless it's on Thassa's Oracle. Right. So you're, that's what you're giving up now, is the ability to instant speed... Right. Well, right, no, right. it doesn't even matter. So, sorry, sorry. If you animate dead, that's his oracle. The trigger still goes on the stack, so you still lose. I'm sorry. You don't yeah. have endurance anymore. You're just dead to that. Right, right. No, I mean, that, so, he's still dead to Thassa's at this point, unless he yep. get, manages yeah. to buy back. So he picks his Atroxa. Um, and doesn't matter. Right. We know he has an animate dead in hand. Yep. So, so he's just going to draw a lot of cards here. So Yes. So there's no lost equity here by tapping out to get the initiative because right. Matt cannot win at instant speed without Thoracle. All right, so we got a Grizzle Daddy. We got an Entomb. We got a Reanimate. Re re so not the best. No, but there are some heaters in there. Yeah. Um, so lands. This is what I always do, just sort it by piles. Yeah, I think this is also a gentle person's magic where you just sort things out as easy as it's possible. Yeah. All right, so... So Grizzle Daddy's good. You got one. Figure that one out. Yeah. Take a land. Yep. We don't... The Underground Sea is still on the list, so any one of the fetch lands is fine. Right. Now the question is, do we want to go no, uh, see, again? What you know what you do. No, this is the... No, I think... Uh, I mean, that, that's a combo, right? And he's, he took yep. the seal. But I was like, if you take the Blast, you can kill the uh, Merlaws... Miglos before it blows up the animate dead, but yep. he got seal which can go get Thoracol and then he got um, packed. Painted packed to yeah. win under. Yep. So we cast seal, put Thoracol on top. Um, we already played a land this turn, so we can't make that mistake. Put Thoracol on top, crack fetch land. Mm. Yeah. Not a combo. <laughs> Bumbo. Oh, uh, we are at. Um, let me do this real quick. Boom and boom. We are at one on one. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. So now we basically say deal twenty or, sorry, deal thirteen. The grief obviously painful. Don't want to tap that one. You want to probably attack with that, but I oh, Well, you're gonna have to get rid of the animate dead. So three right. of your mana's locked down. Is it three for that one? Yeah, for that that aspect of. Okay. Uh, Miglas. Right. And you have to remove three oil counters from it. Oh, that's fine. I mean. Um... So. Yep, there we he... go. So okay, so he does that. So Miglas is a four. How big is the Undermountain right now? Four as well, I think. Well, it's got two counters two, two. on it. Um, five. So it's five. It's, it's so that's nine. Nine. Because he could tap the Undermountain after attack and pump use two to pump the Miglas up two more. He could have taken them into two this set. Yeah. So, so just... af after he attacks with Vigilance, he can tap the Undermountain. To remove the last yes. two counters and but we, it. And now, then but we have no enough. way to deal the extra two. Yeah. Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, yeah. We're, we're... 
yeah, we've got no way to go upstairs for more than one, I believe. No, if he had a bowl, right? <laughs> Which he does not. No. I wanted to make sure the Carnotaur or Carnosaur doesn't. Um, no, it's not. When it you doesn't cycle hit it, doesn't hit players. Nope. And it's Chandra only three. TOD could go upstairs, but we're short on mana again. Yeah, I think this yeah. is just. Wait, hold on. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. No, wait, no, no, because that's two more. He'll be at two because he can play the red in six, but that'll only put him to one. One. Yep, that's what I thought as well as the W6. I'm just looking through the list. I thought maybe we could get saucy with something out of the board, but I don't, I don't think there's a. I mean, option. the only option is if he had a strip mine, then he could just stop the the production of black mana. <laughs> oh yeah, you need a double strip. You need to get yeah. together the city and yeah, the swamp and the fetch land that's coming. Yeah. We are pretty well insulated as Matt. Yeah, no. Unless there's a way to make Matt shuffle their library, which I don't see in the list. I think we're talking now about the. Yeah, he's talking through it. He's 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 estimating up. He's doing all the math I just did that put you at yep. one. You know. He's doing every bit of math I just did. <laughs> yep. So we pay two now. So we have five damage coming from the Undermountain Adventurer and six damage coming from the Miglas, which. Oh, he tried a green sun for something that got pierced. Yep. I just don't know what we're green sunning for. Um, let's see. So it was there been a green sun for two. Um. It's got to be a green creature. Yeah, I don't know what it would have been. Yeah, I don't know what the green sun would have done. I don't think it would have mattered. So. No. All right. All right. Well, Matt takes that one. Two, one to go up. Uh, I'm going to see. All right. And we'll be back with another match here in a bit. Mm-hmm.